Hi guys, hello and welcome to Ninja BBB. I am Hario Freshness and this is a review of an event I just returned from. So today is the 2nd of April 2018. Yesterday through to today was April Fool's edition of AY Live. Every Easter Sunday, AY has it locked down for his AY Live and over the years we've seen so many different editions. I'm sorry, I'm sweaty, I just came back. We've seen so many different editions and every year it just keeps getting better. Now he has his hands in comedy, he has his hand in comedy movies, comedy series. He really has made a name for himself in the industry. He has broken records, Guinness World Records. That's how big EY is in the world. And every year he, you know, somehow reinvents his EY life show so before tonight we kind of noticed that the publicity around the show wasn't as normally or it usually used to be other years other years he used to have a lot of celebrities come out and say they're gonna be there he used to have skits he has you know he used to have a lot of different things going but this year it was kind of quiet that a lot of celebrities didn't jump on the you know wave and go like i'll be there i'll be there i'll be there and then he you know probably because of the success of the wakanda phenomenon that's the black panther movie that came out in february he kind of went like you know um he went with the wakanda team this year and everyone was like okay why would he do that somehow see you guys gotta know that i'm in tatafu so i kind of realized that shaggy law was not on the ay bandwagon this year now this means that i kind of collated uh, over a period of time some very funny things first of all during the fatima and jamil wedding that her held in lagos a couple of weeks back now and i saw a picture of shay law with bobby and i'm like okay shay law is a wise person what's going on and i'm like okay let me see what's going to happen and then because i probably don't follow these guys i didn't know that shay law had actually been pushing on social media for a show today well yesterday on the first okay. he had the dublin show he had the london show and he had a show somewhere else in the uk and i'm like okay so why would shay law do that is it like a strategy to draw attention or are they trying to keep the Lagos and London markets locked down during the Easter festivities because we all know that it's just about spring in the abroad and I was kind of worried because I was like okay so probably some of the comedians will have to choose their legions I know but tonight I got to the red carpet it was kind of slow but I went inside and lo and behold everywhere was packed full everybody came out artists comedians everybody came to have fun because it's ay life now the usual celebrities like funky akindele kent henshaw these are ladies that always come every year they were not there some comedians i didn't see them i don't know about others so i can't verify but i didn't see osh baby i didn't see Helly paul i didn't see some you know normal people that you'd always see at his shows but you know, others came out. Kenny Black was there representing a cappella who somehow seemed to not be at Shay Law's show, was there with his great jokes. We had God Dons, we had other great people come. Of course, as usual, we had Alex Ikubo, Aikibuna, we had Brian Okwara, we had Imoni, we had a lot of people come through for him for the event. So this made a lot of sense. I laughed throughout the time I actually got to sit there because I was walking the red carpet. So throughout the time I actually got to sit in the hall, I had a lot of laughs, I had a lot of fun. My friends were dancing, so everybody felt the vibe. So it was a great heat as usual. And of course, somebody walked away with a new phone, a brand new phone for having interpreted, you know, the writings on uh, the stage. So apparently, it says AY Life. You know, it says AY Life, April Fool's Yoruba Demon. I'm really looking forward to this is new movie, Yoruba Demon, because it's AY you know so at least if not for anything the paparazzi around the movie is going to be great and then some of the highlights of the show was when he brought out his daughter and she played a quick you know piece on the piano and then two face and face had like a reunion <laughs> And then AY came and was like, 
predicting that obviously like we all know blackface was gonna have a comeback for them tomorrow that's today so we're waiting to see that and then also we're also waiting to see how you know some things are just gonna work you know the pictures from the show all the glitz all the glamour all the good things some of the jokes were quite um were quite engaging and funny now some of the downside of the thing sometimes i have a problem with comedians picking out individuals in the crowd picking out celebrities ay kind of did something like that that didn't work well he actually spoke to damila david apparently she's on his new movie that we're all expecting to watch river demons and he made a not so funny joke about she and her now ex chris Atto. he told us that fire caught him during one of the they were trying to give us some wakanda ish and then probably because of stage management and you know stage management not working properly he caught fire and his leg was partially burnt so sorry ay we hope you get better and you know people like i go save came and gave us purely adult jokes which there's no problem but the thing now is that they're kind of there were kids in the audience so i don't know who's to blame the comedians who can't you know actually tell clean jokes or the parents who can't help but bring their kids along to these things so I, I don't know i don't know who to say i'd like to blame who i like to blame i think i should give their opinions okay you're here to hear my opinion i think parents should keep their kids at home doing such shows not just because it's gonna be adult content but because you know it's 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 way into the night if your kid isn't actually working like if your kid isn't like uh, an artist or a comedian i don't think your kids should be out this late in. so going back to the adult content in the show now comedians like i go safe came out and gave us really really adult content and i for one i was laughing but i realized that a lot of people in the crowd were not so i think comedians should check some of these things nigerians we like to talk about sex we like to talk about it but in private so and then arole made a very annoying joke I don't understand Yoruba very much, but I got a Yoruba friend of mine to explain it to me. Apparently, he took a shot at Bam Bam and the fact that she had sex in the Big Brother house. I really wish comedians would not do that, considering that, you know, she's going to have a hard time already. It shouldn't come from you guys who uh, have supposedly inducted them into your new clique as celebrities. I think she made a choice she can be allowed to live with it but the fact that nigerians especially our comedians will not let girls to move past the fact that you know they had sex so the society is really hard enough judging these girls judging these ladies for their decision uh are they gonna do it again on the stage so that's another thing another thing the jokes some of the jokes comedians told us are things that we already heard we saw heavy we saw you saw talented men like funny bone and ajebo just repeating jokes that we've heard at their own show not because they were lazy to come up with, with material because you know sometimes when you have your own show to plan for you do not want to come to another person's show and give out all the eggs in your basket not everybody can afford to be kenny black that comes up with you know material at every show well consider that Kenny Black does all the songs and songs are always coming out so I understand that but you know so I get but the there's this humorous guy who was really good Acapella was good as usual Ajebo was good Funny Bone was good but causing that I attend shows really frequently comedians I see them I see comedians all the time at this show so we begin to realize that some jokes have been repeated so uh, they probably do not take into consideration people like me so but we're the ones who are going to be giving the reviews guys think about us one of the things that is associated with ay live these days is the fact that he always has a play in the middle of the show so for the play this year he had heavyweights like mr ibu and ime he had um, princess he had la sisi elenu who gave us like a report from big brother he had Josh Tufani and his friend. He had a Rolly, which is what I said like earlier when he took a stab at Bam Bam. And these guys came together and they gave us like a short, short skit about you know animals swallowing money in Nigeria, which is 
you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So, you know, they're talking about how somehow, you know, even politicians have kind of taken Nigerians, especially the youths, away from the fact that we have so many problems. They're taking our, they've diverted our attention away and then they're just, you know, doing a whole lot of nonsense to distract us from the real problems we have in this country. So, you know, somehow AY always seems to, you know, hit home, you know, talk about some kind of social ill, you know, you know, not just, so it's not just fun and games about learning some things, about moving forward, so the spectacular entrance, the great show, and even the audience, but at some point, the audience, we got tired, we're not clapping anymore, a show that should have started by nine had gone way into the night, two, three, comedians were still coming out, so, you know, it wasn't encouraging at some point, but, you know, what are we going to say, we still love it, and I'm sure next year, 2019, which is actually election year, well, <laughs> a lot of things are gonna happen. But so, well, I, Ew, I think he he did real good this year. Ew, Life 2018 was a hit. But I'd like the, you know, Shayla Ew thing to be addressed. I'm really interested in knowing how that's going to be. And of course, the lady with the 40 million naira hair was on the carpet. And she was so rude. She was like, I'm so tired. I'm going to rest. And I'm like, huh, so this one, I beg. One of my friends said she's going to have a good day. <laughs> God have mercy on people's souls. So, um, well, I'm sorry I couldn't get you actual clips because my phone died one too there's gonna be copyright issues my phone video is gonna be taken down but these are you know the few things that i really had to you know like say so i'm going to be doing more review of events that i go to and i hope you enjoy it do come back for more i have so many different things on my channel so subscribe so you can be part of it i love you i'm tired i'm oily i'm tired i need to sleep but i need to do this video because i, I won't be able to do it again later I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.